Hey guys, this is Claire Fundingsland, Customer Experience Director here at SkyFi. And today I'm going to give you a quick overview of what you receive in your SkyFi image deliverable so you can familiarize yourselves with what you may receive when you order an image through SkyFi. Once the image is captured and the order delivers, you'll receive an email from do not reply at skyfi.com, and this is what the email will look like. You'll see here you have both a PNG and a zip folder linked here. Um, when you click on the PNG, it may open in the browser, it may download. I recommend going ahead and saving the image and opening it in, in something like preview um, so that you're able to see it and zoom a little bit more closely. I've found that you're limited when you um, open it directly in the browser. So when we open it in preview here, we'll see that we're able to zoom in pretty closely and see some really crisp detail here. Um, this is what the PNG look, looks like. It's good to be used in any standard photo viewing app. Um, it will show you, show you quite a bit of detail depending on the resolution selected um, and is the highest quality of the image that you'll receive. Um, additionally, though, you will receive a TIFF file, which is purposely processed to be used in more geospatial software. So you'll see here when we download the zip folder and open the zip folder up, um, we'll have several um, different files delivered here. These files include um, the PNG that we already viewed, the TIFF file that I just mentioned, and also the metadata for this file. So like I said, the TIFF file is best viewed in softwares like QGIS um, as it's processed for, for more geospatial um, data processing. So when we have QGIS open here, we can simply drag and drop this, drop this TIFF file into QGIS to see the same image we saw in the PNG, but a little bit more information here. Um, QGIS is a super powerful tool used in, in geospatial um, work, and I, I encourage those of you who are interested in geospatial work to play around in here. You can do everything from measuring different distances and sizes like acreage and things like that. It obviously displays the coordinates here. Another really cool thing that we can do in QGIS is add in a maps layer to see how our image um, works in a map. We can do that by just simply coming up to add layer here. Um, then we can add an XYZ layer. When we click that, we'll see the option pop up here to add all sorts of different layers. I personally like the Google satellite layer. And when we click add, we'll see that load here. By dragging and dropping the image on top of the satellite layer, we can see exactly how this lines up with what Google Maps displays. Um, this allows us to see change detection, for example, from what we may see on Google Maps. So by um, adding and removing this, we can see exactly what the, the image that we purchased through SkyFi looks like. This also shows how much data lives in this TIFF file because it has coordinates. And we can see that those coordinates mean something to this map and help this image overlay directly on the map. So this is a super powerful tool um, that shows the power of, of this EO data. The last thing that we have in this um, this folder here is the metadata and this allows us to see a little bit more information about the image capture. Here we can see the cloud percentage, we can see the azimuth angle, um, we can see the capture time here which is obviously really important. This is written in UTC um, here but this is really important if we're looking to see when specifically our image was captured. We can see the resolution written here in GSD, we can see the bands displayed in the image um, and then also up here we can see which specific satellite captured our data. So aside from the PNG, we also deliver quite a bit of information about the image here. Um, I recommend playing around with the, the zip file to see more information as needed. Um, but again, that TIFF file will only open in GIS software as it may not display correctly in your standard photo viewing applications.